Hi, this is Dave Bartosowitz. Hey, you know what? I want to give a, a little idea, a little interesting kind of concept. I'm, I'm with Have You Experienced Jesus? And I don't know if you know this or not, but um, you're probably aware that Freemasonry is a, is a pretty big thing throughout the United States, right? Um, the Washington Monument, right? It's, it's an obelisk, right? And it's a Freemason um, symbol. And uh, I want you to understand something that's important because we see a lot of Freemason masonry symbols in, in Salt Lake City and there's a lot of people who believe and I believe that too. I've done a show on this. I talked about Freemasonry and Mormonism. You can read and investigate and see the relationship between all these symbols, Joseph Smith and Mormonism. But I want to share something I found and heads off to George um, that I actually was given this knowledge by a guy this week. And what I want to talk to you about is Joseph Smith's burial site. Now, you gotta realize one thing, okay? It's an Egyptian, an obelisk is an Egyptian symbol, okay? And now, it's not a Christian symbol. It's an Egyptian, it goes back thousands and thousands of years ago, and it's a symbol of like the god of, of sun, okay? The goddess of sun. And you have this, this symbol that's standing up, and I want to show you, if you're looking at the right side right now, you're seeing Joseph Smith's burial site, right? And I'm showing you that. That was done in 1910, and they put up a obelisk, a very large obelisk, as you can see, um, representing the symbol. Now, I don't know about you, it worries me because the Bible tells us quite a bit that we're not supposed to have these towers, right? These edifices, these large, large towers going up, these, these towers. I mean, what are you trying to say? I mean, really, I don't understand this. Why would you put a big tower like that? In, jo in Joseph Smith burial site in Sharon, Vermont, you see that they, they did put that up, which concerns me. Now, I'm not a conspiracist, right? And there's a lot of people who believe in these conspiracy concepts, but why wouldn't he have a cross, you know, like Paul? You know, we, we, we boast of the cross. Why do we have a large 38-foot tower? You gotta question that. Another thing I want you to think about is Ellen White. Ellen White was also the founder of the Seventh-day Adventists, okay? And she also has, you're seeing it right now, her grave site, there is also an obelisk. Why? Why? And if you look about, if you think about this, uh, there was another church that was formed during that same period of time, which is called the Jehovah Witnesses. So you have Joseph Smith, Mormonism, Seventh-day Adventists, and also now the Jehovah Witness, which was the founder, who was a founder, Charles uh, Russell, Taze Russell, right? And you can see, and I'm showing you, that there is a pyramid, right? on his gravesite. Kind of weird. It's kind of strange. You're seeing it. Why is this happening to these three churches that they believe in Jesus Christ, they preach of Jesus Christ, right? But they have all these large towers. Now, also in Mormonism, what I want to talk to you about is that the temples, right? And you saw in the very beginning where that, that was the conference center, it looked like an obelisk, right? As a matter of fact, you're seeing some more temples that have these towers, these obelisk towers. What is going on with this sort of worshiping, the symbol that goes all the way back to Egypt? Why towers? Why not have crosses? Why not have crosses like Christian churches have? People who, who really believe in the Lord, who have these towers that it stops at the, the actual bottom of the tower, right? Why is it like that for all these other Christian churches? And then you see all these other three churches that started within 35 to 40 years from each other. They have obelisk, and then you have Mormon towers all over. And you look at the Wasatch, you look at the tower, uh, which is really, really kind of strange with, with Jehovah Witnesses, they have what? Don't they have this book? It's called the tower, the watchtower. Yeah, it's a watchtower. So you have to ask yourself, a tower again? Interesting stuff. 
So I want you to think about that. I'm not going that far, but I want you to think. Why are they having all these obelisk towers when God said, I'm against that. I'm against it. Remember what I said, take a look, investigate yourself, and thanks for watching.